Hey there everybody, Professor Cloud here with episode 5 of Alan Wake, the Nightmare Difficulty Edition. Uh, just replaying through Alan Wake for me probably about the 7th or 8th time. Uh, doing it on Nightmare Difficulty leading into the release of Alan Wake 2 this Friday. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Uh, and I've been really enjoying replaying through this again, even if it has been a little frustrating on Nightmare Difficulty. So far... You know, we're doing okay. We are into ap episode five. We've only got these two remaining episodes. Uh, so let's jump back in with previously on Alan Wake. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the dark presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wagery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. Hello. Hello. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. <laughs> oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, Al. Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> at least they didn't put it on the floor oh, for us to look at. I am never drinking again. Uh, I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Like, They're not you gonna... Interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my God! <laughs> like... <laughs> We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Okay. Oh, man. We're First sitting thing. ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. <laughs> it wasn't the booze that made his mind reel. No? I can get the emergency power on. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. 
He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Okay. Get our stuff. Quick look around, make sure there's no. Oh, hold it. Got the flare. That's a starting point. Got the flare. Nice. Take a quick run through here. Keeping lights on us. There you go. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. Hey, okay, pump back. She lives shotgun. in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Yeah, my hangover yeah. wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? My hangover wants you to shut up and get to work. Uh, you know, police uh, car hello, turned Rager. over in front of the door. Barry Wheeler. All good stuff. Yeah, I know we got 14 batteries, 16 shotgun rounds. Pull up on... Alright, let's, of course, always start with the handgun. Before we go anywhere, oh, hold hell. on. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? We gotta go back across here like we did earlier. Right now. The manuscript pages. I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Oh, there's a ladder right there. What did I hit? Oh. Wish I had seen that. I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? <laughs> Fresh seafood. Take a quick look around, make sure I don't miss anything up. I don't remember. Alright, well, there's a couple more players. That's good. And what's the message? In light. Or hurt. You can hurt them. Oh, yeah, thanks. Already knew that.
Oh. I was I knew that the birds don't do a tremendous amount of damage but I was just really trying to be careful about how many batteries I used oh crap okay sure if that was gonna work or not hey sheriff your password night springs what's that all about it's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on. Okay. Let me go there in a minute. Oh. Why can I not consistently... Okay, there we go. Like, why can I not consistently get... Oh, uh, why am I stuck? Okay, there we go. Anything back here? Well, not a lot. A single flare. <clears throat> oh god, I almost walked in there. I hit the button. All right, I took a little bit of damage. I can live with that, though. I didn't waste any shotgun rounds. I don't... I was going to shoot this barrel, but I didn't know if it would actually do anything. 
Yeah, you know what? So that we don't get accidentally hit by this van later. Okay. Again, not too bad. Here's the thing. I don't know. All right, there is something down here. We've got to. For secret cases down here. Okay, flare gun, that's good. Flare gun ammo. Another flare itself. At least one. Actually, I think I might have gotten two flares, and then I think I got four flare gun ammos, ammo rounds, or whatever they're called. Nothing else down here, doesn't look like. with some handgun ammo. Let's see if anything... Oop. Okay. Where did sh the sheriff go? Stuff down at the end here. Players. Really need more handgun ammo. All right, Sheriff, where are we going? Diner first. Whoop, oh, hold on. Alright, switch to the heavy duty flashlight. Excellent. I'm gonna want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week, you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. Back here. Oh. There's a manuscript page. 
Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff chick down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out. <clears throat> right. That's it. The diner. Very much worth it. In here. What? Follow? Well, I was planning on it. So she's actually good AI. <laughs> Unlike the, what was his name, Mott, that we had in uh, Lover's Peak, he couldn't hit a broad side of a barn. So there's the one problem that I have with Sheriff Breaker. Keeps getting in my way. Batteries, revolver ammo. That wasn't fun. Hold on. I think we might have missed something. I don't know if they're going to let me go back for it, though. I think there's a way in a whole section that we didn't do around the seafood plant. Yeah, they're not going to let me go back. Crap. There's pro how much you want to bet there's a freaking uh, manuscript page over there. Well, there's nothing to do about it now. Oh, this is a... Uh, yeah, this... Remember this. Don't remember where they come from.
pretty sure that's everybody. While she's opening the door. Let's go wake. look around and make sure I'm not missing things. Flare gun ammo, that was good considering I probably wasted I probably wasted the first one. The second and third I don't think I actually wasted, but the first one I think I I don't think they were grouped close enough together for me to really get the full advantage of it, but could be that the game is intentionally trying to not put uh, manuscript pages in fight zones. They have been pretty good about that, even okay, the... Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury-rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Gotcha. Um, with the exception of some of the nightmare pages, they have been pretty good about the placement. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again, but meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. The clerk's office. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. The clerk's office is right there. So let me go upstairs. The keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just going to take a quick look. aren't but other important things are the darkness controls the taken I already knew that else nope Let me reload this. I didn't remember it only taking eight shots for them. I thought it always took more than that.
Hunting rifle. Um, seeing as we're almost out of shotgun rounds, that's probably a good thing to make the switch. Yeah. Plus, I think the hunting rifle does better damage anyway. Moment. That's the clerk's office. They're there last. There's that. Got the lantern now. Revolver ammo. Flashbangs. Okay, good. Oh, there's the helicopter. Okay, well then let the clerk's office run. Oh shit, lady. Lair. So only the one manuscript page? Entire building? Okay, Sheriff. I got the keys. Wow, we got a lot of flares. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Oh, God. Barry, look out! Barry, move! Ah! Barry! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. I wonder if they're going to put inanimate objects being used by the darkness in Alan Wake 2. In the videos that I've seen so far, previews or, or what have you, I haven't seen any of that, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything, obviously, but I'd really be interested to know if that's something they're planning on doing. Not recorded when Bright Falls was first formed as a nameless trading post, but it became a town when the Bright Falls Mining Company started to operate nearby in 1878. It was then that Hubert Biltmore, a fur trapper, and Asmos Gort, Amos Gort Gunderson, a pioneer from Tacoma, decided to build a post office, saloon, and hotel, all operating from the same building. Through the efforts of these two men that Bright Falls became the permanent and thriving town that it is today. Okay. Very cool. God, I saw that right there and I thought it was a person and it's just a light on top of that pillar I don't I really hope that wasn't a waste but I don't know Certainly save time. That's for sure. We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us people? in the backyard. Get the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. <laughs> I know. Go back to bed. Oh, Doc. Point, Look, this town can't take this. You only knew what was really happening. All right. That's where I'm going. Check down the other end real quick. Okay. I 
I do wish we could actually turn the light like down when you're in a bright room like this. a perfect place to have a manuscript page. Apparently the game doesn't agree with me. Oh. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Alex Casey books by Alan Wake, modern master of crime fiction. Alex Casey, what I can't forget, return to sender, the things that I want, the fall of Casey, and the sudden stop. All in stock, $20 a book, $100 for the full set. Wake is in town, see if you can get them autographed. Okay, there's manuscript. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. I don't see Barry. There you go. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. case okay definitely was not a waste then of the flare gun ammo because we just got a whole bunch of it so there seems to be an expectation that we're going to be using it um There's a big fight here. I just don't remember what kicks it off. is in fact a big fight here then at least I know where to go to reload afterward ah Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls general store and dusted himself off right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns and yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. <laughs> Barry threw himself into the role. <laughs> that was actually one that I had never found, so I'm glad I was able to find that one. And then there's three nightmare ones. I believe are going to be near the end of the episode. Oh, 
let me make sure to read this. Church events. Yep, okay. We're good. I'm not going to read every one of those. I'm going to give Pastor Howard a peace of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Yep, here we go. Oh, let's take a break. these guys. I think I actually just got both of them. Yep. I got both of them. Okay. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. I think I got hit once. I'm not 100% certain of that, to be honest. I was dodging very well. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. It's almost like they knew. <laughs> right? For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript. But it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Another one. Based on the way that they were moving, looks like we've got to go through here. Love hearing the door squeaks all the time. Anymore. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man! Like garlic against vampires? 
vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on! Cat. More rifle ammo. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Where? Someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license, you're cleared for departure to Night Springs. Uh, no offense, Sheriff. Remember where they come from. Waited for them to get closer that time. And I still haven't been using my flashbangs. Oops. Let me do that. I actually was just looking for uh, thermos. I haven't found a thermos in a while. I'll like, check real quick. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Yeah. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. I am not a fan of this particular fight sequence. Batteries. Or those. Shotgun ammo. The problem is I don't have the shotgun. Oh, but I do now. Uh are they gonna give me rifle ammo also? I, mean, I, did, I wasn't ready.
That's why I don't like this fight. They don't give me an opportunity to really truly prepare for it. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. I have no idea what that achievement was. You know how to deal with this, Wake. I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff.
Ouch. Why, why do I have so few batteries? want to move forward because I'm pretty uh, pretty sure that something's going to pop off of the roof or out of the doors if I kill enough of the birds there we go I need to do something about the chain for the door to open okay so um, one thing in case anyone is interested the achievement that I got in the town was because I had cleared the town without dying. Apparently that was the first time I had done that. Or at least with this install. This is, I think, my fourth or, or fifth purchase of the game. I don't know. I love this game. Um, okay, hold on. I, I have no weapons. Why do I have no weapons? I had plenty of weapons when I got on the helicopter. Oh, I hate it when this game does this. No realism to that. Let me run around here real quick. I can't remember if it is a triggerable triggerable button to break the chain or if I can just shoot it. The darkness wears her face. That doesn't sound good at all. Okay. Stuck. I don't know why I'm stuck. And I'm dead. So they intentionally reset your ammo and your Hey, okay, that wasn't worth it.
I'm stuck. I cannot shoot four guys at the same time. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. I hit, I hit the, oh boy, this is really not, ow, Again. Okay, there's two of them. Okay, that was an absolutely ridiculous scenario. It's the only ridiculous scenario that I've come up against in this game. Almost every other scenario, there has been a way to position yourself or strategically handle one after another. But, yeah, that this was just... Nah, sorry. Not very well designed area. Or section, or whatever you want to call it. And a lot of it has to do with the, the fact that they do keep resetting you. Again, another scenario that is just not realistic in any way, shape, or form. I, I understand. Dealing with darkness and shadows and all of that, but still, um, let me make sure I don't see anything else. There's a radio there. Are they going to let me listen to the radio first? Or are they going to attack me immediately? And here's a new song from a band that... They always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. I apologize, but I need to mute that. Because I've already had issues.
Oh, so wrong. Absolutely horrendous. How does somebody show up when I'm up against a wall like that? All right, I can turn the, the sound back on. I'm not going to hit the radio again. This is good work. Oh, there wasn't anything in there. Let me see if they pop back up again. I am curious. They will. I just saw them. Alright, I'm not going to worry about it. I, I got the, the radio message, and that was what was important. Okay. Time for the power plant. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. is a uh, achievement for getting all of the secret cases that apparently I still have not gotten. And I now have a flashbang grenade. That's good. I do want to try and save that, though. backed up into the electrical wire and there's a lovely manuscript page right there I'm to be careful oh yeah uh No, okay. For some reason I thought maybe I could... Okay, never mind. Okay, more shotgun ammo. Primarily what that was.
Yeah, see, the way that that section just played out could have never happened in that area I was talking about a little while ago. Right in front of the garage door. And that's what's frustrating, is they put you in that kind of a situation. Yeah. It's gone. Crap. Okay. That way. Here's the manuscript page. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once. As hard as it had been, she was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. What are we getting here? Okay, so more flares. Shotgun ammo. Um, You're supposed to try and do something with these electrical lines. And I don't completely understand what it is that you're supposed to do. It, it, it's like you're supposed to try and push them into them. But I don't know how you're supposed to push them. Alright, there's a... A... A, a manuscript page up there. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Huh! 
right. Well, that worked well. Huh. Curious about something. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to try something. Still don't understand why I'm not able to... Really hope they improve that in the next game. Oh, okay. I can't go that way. I have to go this way. Yeah, that didn't... Yeah, I, I really hope they improve the... Quote unquote platforming. Because it's really bad. It, again, it's a, a, what, 13, 14 year old game? Yo. Children of the Elder God Lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard. The first verse and chorus. Warriors, torchbearers, come redeem our dreams. Shine a light upon this night of otherworldly fiends. Odin's might be your guide. Divorce you from the sane. Hammer's way will have its say. Rise up in their name. O oh, memory and thought, jet black and clawed. Children of the Elder God, scourge of light upon the dark. That was the first Nightmare Manuscript page. That's good. <clears throat> they are shining brighter than the regular Manuscript pages. I couldn't get across until I found a way to turn the bridge. Whoa! Okay, dude, you, bro, you suck, dude. Wow. Battery, player gun ammo, okay, so five there. I'm just gonna stay on this side, it makes more sense. From a jumping off point. There we go. Woo! Okay. There. You I don't care about. I feel like the room is moving. Tonight's 
episode. An absence of creativity. Hello, Martha. What did you want to show me? Oh, Lydia, thank God you're here. Please, it's in the basement. Okay, so this was a very bad place to put a Night Springs video, TV episode, whatever. did not provide good volume in comparison to Damn you, son of a bitch! Oh! The other thing, and I've, I've complained about this for years, is the lack of automatic reload. There is an automatic reload, yes. But it is a single reload. It 
it is a single shot reload rather than a full mag reload which makes absolutely zero sense I need ammo so I'm fierce if I get rolled up on again I'm screwed Sworn I kicked off. Alright, at least I got some ammo there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Case. Eat case. Flare gun ammo, excellent. Oh, that's true. I have not been using the flare gun since I was on the bridge. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I got seven rounds. I hit, I'm hitting the button nonstop and nothing's happening. All right, so. I don't know what to do then because I got surrounded from 360. Oops. Grab that. There we go. Let me back up to the wall here. can't. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. Okay. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Alright, so there's another page right there that I can't get to yet. Trust no one in the dark. Well, that's kind of a given. Safe haven. Alright, here we go. Hold it right there! Miss Weaver! Cynthia! I'm a friend! Prove it! Uh... You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light! In the song! You can help me! About time! Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you! It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I've built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? Oh, I found the secret route, a lit route, and 
old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's draining all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. All right, darkness waits in my dreams. I miss you, Tom. Air gun. Same chair we've been seeing the entire time. I've been preparing for these times, the dark tides. You have found my caches, haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Yes, please. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We, we do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. Okay. There is a page here. So either it's when she opens this gate, or there's a way to get there from where she just gave us access. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I know that's what I have to use later. Okay, it's, it's here. Why? Really? I really didn't want to use me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. All right, I really... I, I don't know what to say. The Poet and the Muse, lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard, the chorus. And now to see your love set free, you will need the witch's cabin key. Find the Lady of the Light, gone mad with the night. Find the Lady of the Light, still raving in the night. That's how you reshape destiny. Okay, we need one more nightmare page and we will have found everything in this episode. Unfortunately, we still have missed the one in episode four. I guess I'm going to have to go back for later. Very disappointing. Darkness waits in my dream. Okay, we already know about that. Rule number one, never go out at night. Yep, we already know about that. They, oh, safe haven. Okay, I thought it was pointing to another case. Like, no. I could see the kill switch that <clears throat> would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Um... Gate controls to be operated by authorized personnel only. There we 
we go. Never keep the lights on. Rule number two. Why would I never keep the lights on? Alright, so there's another... What the hell? Oh my god. I'm gonna switch to you. Who designs these things? Uh oh. The transformer yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. Come on! Why did you turn me that way? That wasn't how I was faced. All right, I got an idea. Really? Okay. You take four shots of handgun ammo, but you can't die after only two shots of shotgun? That doesn't make any sense. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. He's the bulbs. A part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There oh. are no free rides like that. I'm starting to re- Oh! I didn't remember that. I didn't remember that Tom Zane did this in trying to bring back, um, not Cynthia, obviously, but, um, uh, the, the lady who we've been seeing as a dark ghost. I, I thought he was controlled by her to do it. Oh my god, I have been so confused by that. So he did it 
to bring her back, that is actually what triggered the whole thing. Now, then she kept control over him until he couldn't help her anymore. Now she's trying to use Alan to bring her into the real world. Oh. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my care, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story. Yeah. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. It's Sarah now? No! No! For the sweet love of... Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Oh. Okay. At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Not gonna let up there, I just went. There's a thermos that I hadn't found yet. Hmm. There's a manuscript page. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. <laughs> a Barry. Wanted to see how many uh, flashbangs I had. Trying to not use the, the. There we go. I was really trying to not use the 
flare gun rounds. There's a manuscript page over there on that log. By the way, I've already gotten the achievement for a thousand birds. <laughs> I apparently got it in the middle of this run, and it just never showed up during gameplay. But it absolutely happened, because I actually was looking at the achievement that I got a little while ago during this chapter. And that one was for clearing the town without dying. All right, so this is going to take me back up. Okay. Children of the Elder God lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard, the second verse and chorus. Scratching hag. You can rake your claws and gnash your crooked teeth. You've taken slaves like ocean waves, now feel the ocean seethe. Father Tor bless the war between the dark and light. In their songs, let their wrongs bring disillusion's night. O oh, memory and thought, jet black and clawed, children of the Elder God, scourge of light upon the dark. Cool. We got all of episode five. Excellent. Uh, where am I? Yeah, I am going this way. Okay, there we go. thought it would be easier to clear them all than to have to worry about them. Barry! Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The all crash right. site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Flare gun ammo. Flare. Oh, 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 flare. There's the dam. The well lit room. Okay. Barry! Barry!
Well, that was a fucking waste. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Yeah, laugh it up, funny man. Then we have somewhere right. to go. Weaver will meet us at the dam. Hold on. I know we've already found all the manuscript pages, and I just found the secret chest of the area. But still, I want to make sure that if there's extra ammo, then I get it. Yeah, matter of fact, this takes me to the exact same place anyway. Good. When you spend most of your night running uphill while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, you know your helicopter crash landed in uh, Night Springs. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Barry. Oh, shoulda. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Okay. You can't be something on a bike. Okay. Now you don't have to worry about it. We did it. Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. Okay. So first of all, I didn't know I could do that. Hey, Al, I got a bad feeling. Let's did not know I could actually Ooh, skip. I should have kept that gym membership. That fight. Really do this, Al? Okay. All right, we're almost there. Call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Okay. Heads up! Here they come! Oh no! Oh no! They're coming! We have to hold them off! Let's go. The button. Oh shit. What button? Get this. You couldn't hit the button? Really? Oh, 
We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? <laughs> Thomas no. Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. That was Paul Bunyan. Let's be careful, okay? Come on. Oh, jeez, I hate this. Okay, hold on one second. There seems to be... That's better. Probably reduce it even further, but... Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. Looking for thermoses. Thermi. What's up there? Okay, never mind. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. And that shoebox was... What we found in the house on Cauldron Lake. Of course, the house on Cauldron Lake doesn't exist officially. I don't why did they all of a sudden do so much damage okay this can be a hobby or a job 
I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Okay, come on. You're standing in the damn light. What the hell? I... I don't... Mission can be a hobby or a job. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The search was even the odds. Why did it not explode? Oh, come on. I... So nothing works the way that it's supposed to. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could eat my eyes. It, it, it didn't do its thing! Now what I'm supposed to do, but This is the worst part of the game because the game was never designed for platforming and yet they built it into it anyway. See what I mean? I, I jumped at the edge. You saw my foot touch the edge of the platform, and yet, still... I, 
I, I don't know what to do there. I'm gonna have to get lucky. And that's a horrible way. Like, if, if I were doing a no damage run of this, That would be a horrible way to lose a run. Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because six and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late, and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. I apologize for turning off the music, but I've already had episode one copyright blocked. Um, not for the United States, but for another country. Um, and it was only for 27 seconds. So I do want to try and keep this down for Alan Wake, the first game. However, for those of you who are watching this are going, okay, I'm now going to watch Alan Wake 2 with Brian, Professor. Uh, I actually did some research and found out that the music for Alan Wake 2, although very similar and of the same band, has been licensed in such a way that we will not run into this problem in the future. So, all of the music that you're going to hear or see in Alan Wake 2 will absolutely be there. I would have loved to have had, especially the end of episode songs. Some of them were fantastic. Episode 2's end song was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. So the fact that I'm not able to play it, I am very sorry for that. But we are at the end of episode 5. I will see you in the last episode, episode 6. And then, if you happen to be watching this very, very soon, make sure to keep an eye out. I am streaming episode, or Alan Wake 2, 
both on YouTube and Twitch. Keep an eye out. It will be here on the channel. Hope to see you soon. Talk to you then.